So I recently started a new project called Poor Batman, basically just a Batman suit, but made in a world where Batman is super poor and doesn't really have access to much stuff. In the first video, I tried to make batarangs out of aluminium cans and scrap metal. And in this video, I'm gonna try and make a Batman cowl out of old shoes. Without any further ado, let's kick it off. Get it? Kick, because it's shoes. Whatever. First thing I did was make a really rough base structure for the helmet out of scrap pieces of EVA foam, which is pretty easy to find. It's not hard to imagine a poor version of Batman salvaging this out of a dumpster or something. I don't want to go too much into the details of how to make this foam helmet because I used a template from a buddy of mine called Let's Make Stuff. I'll put a link to the description to a video where he talks about exactly how to make this helmet and how to get the template. I've used it a bunch of times. Basically, you just cut out the pieces though and stick them together with contact cement. I also did some modifications like adding a different jawline and adding the ears. When it was all stuck together I gave it a layer of PVA glue which acts like a sealant which makes it much easier to paint which is what I did next with black spray paint. Now before you jump in the comments and be like what if he's poor how does he have spray paint and contact cement it's crazy. Let's imagine that in this poor Batman universe Alfred is like a local mechanic who helps out Batman when he can. So my poor Batman kind of does have access to real basic stuff like spray paint and hammers and whatnot but he doesn't have access to the insane workshop that he has access to in the comics and the movies. Anyway then it was time to start taking apart the shoes. I don't know how many of you have meticulously broken down a shoe into its core components, but it's actually pretty annoyingly difficult. Those things are put together quite well. In the last video that I made about the batarangs, a lot of people said in the comments, if you want something cheap to throw, why don't you just use rocks or glass? Yes, that would be cheaper, but I think it takes away from the theatricality thing that Batman's always going on about. Even if you're rich, rocks would be a much easier option than making thousands of metal bat-shaped throwing stars. But Batman only works because of all that theatricality. Because all the criminals are like, oh my god, why is he, why is everything shaped like a bat? Is he a bat? Someone said he's a vampire, is that true? Does he come out at night only? Is he even here? Someone said he's a robot. Why is it, why is the cape make so much noise? That noise is freaking me out, I'm terrified. But, if he was just a guy in a ski mask throwing rocks, well the criminals would be like, that's just another guy, I'll kill him. So yes, I think the bat theme is important, no matter if Batman is super rich or super poor. Once I had all the pieces kind of cut up and neatened up a little bit, it was just a matter of kind of experimenting with where they could go on the cow. I did have a basic idea, but it was hard for me to do a real good plan of this without taking the shoes apart first. Then it was basically just a matter of a whole bunch of contact cement sticking all this stuff to the foam. Again, like I said, it was basically just a whole bunch of contact cementing. I don't want to show you too much because that would ruin the reveal of the final helmet, which is right now. So here's what it turned out like. It looked way better than I expected. I didn't think I was going to be able to do much with shoes, but damn. So I'm pretty happy. I especially like the back. I use shoelaces as a kind of stitching. Sometimes I use stitching actually to hold stuff together, and other times I just put it there for kind of decoration. I wanted it to look like this helmet's been smashed apart a hundred times and then just hastily sewed back together. The neck guard part is actually just an old t-shirt. I just cut a scrap out and stuck it around. Didn't sew it or anything crazy like that. But yeah, basically every single part is made from shoes and it looks pretty dope. So what part of my poor Batman costume do you think I should make next? Let me know in the comments. Keeping in mind though, it has to be something that doesn't require too many amazing tools because like I said, poor Batman, you don't got much. Some of you probably also noticed that the shelves always look different in the background of like every video. That's because a lot of stuff displayed on there is stuff that I've made and I sell on Etsy. People keep buying it. I have to keep putting different stuff so the background doesn't look boring. Link to my Etsy in the description as well as all my other social medias. End of the video. Batman. Ugh, I'm not, I forgot I'm not wearing a cape.